Guys, I'm about to watch Flat Earth. NASA's Blue Marble 2 image of Earth is fake! By <laughs> Flatline. Globe is dead! What does that mean? Globe is dead. Globe is dead? Like, it's like a sick, like, it's a ball that's like, I'm, I'm dead, I'm dying. Like, I need a, I'm like a thermometer. A thermometer. Because I have sick Earth, you know, a sick dying Earth thermometer in its mouth. It's all sick and dying. No, it's, it's not dying. Earth, globe is not dead. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Stupid. It's, Hi. This is Hi. Emma, and welcome to Esoteric Detective. Esoteric Detective? What? Esoteric Detective? Man, this guy takes himself way too seriously. Recently, I came across a very interesting find. Nearly everyone interested in space has seen this picture. It was released by NASA and has the iconic name, the Blue Marble 2. You can find the picture everywhere, but one of the best places to find it is NASA's own website. Yeah, why wouldn't it be on NASA's own website? Of course it's on NASA's website! They took the picture! Or it's a compo it's com composite. This photograph is iconic because NASA says it is worth No, it's not iconic because NASA says it's iconic. It's iconic because... Here, the most the detailed thing. true color images of the entire Earth to yes, date. Yes, that's true, to that's put correct. It in a nutshell, the picture is iconic. Well, amazingly, it turns out a number of internet sleuths... A number of internet sleuths. Okay, so let me start this video by saying that the way someone speaks directly gives you an insight into their mind. And this guy is saying internet sleuths. He's saying esoteric detective. This guy really takes this up seriously. He really thinks there's something behind this lizard people, flat earth, you know, finding clues and stuff in, in media and thinking the TV is talking to you. This guy actually thinks it's like this. I've now found compelling new evidence. Compelling new evidence. No. Compelling new evidence. See, there we go again. Compelling new evidence. This guy really thinks there's something to this. And I would like to thank you, Tube user. Dizzy Willow for showing Dizzy Willow for showing me some stupid shit that got me looking at this all night long and confirmation bias kicked in and now I can't stop leaving it. So thank you, Dizzy Willow. That's what this guy's thinking of for. Thank you for showing me flat earth. They even use Pluto. Yeah, so what did they use Pluto? What does that even mean? You guys are trying to connect dots that aren't the there. To their channel will be in the description. Now, let's take a look. Let's at take first, a look. The photo seems legit. It is legit. It looks like Earth. It is Earth. Earth that we have always been told we live on. But as we are on Earth. What else will we be on? So stupid. Point out, if you take a closer look, things start to take a somewhat sinister turn. Things start to sinister turn. Sinister. Oh my God! This is sinister. There's clouds in the sky. Oh my God! You can't. You can't do that. You know, you don't have to fake clouds, guys. They're already up there. There's some outside right now. If you guys would get off your computers and go check, you'd see. You know, most people on this earth, on this world, on this planet, they have friends. And friends have connections. I know people who work on satellites. I know people who are in NASA. I know people who are educators, who are doctors. I know people who are musicians. I know lots and lots and lots of people. Martial arts, fighter. I know lots of people. And you start to realize conspiracy theories are the number one thing stopping real intelligence in this world. Because it's jump to a conclusion, instant, emotion, impulse, impulse reaction. And that's not the kind of world I want to live in. But check this out. They're saying it's, oh my god, it's a control Z, it's control V. It's copy and paste. Control C and V. No, it's not control C and V. Um, this was a composite image done from hundreds of satellites. Or maybe dozens. I haven't really checked completely. I know it's going to mess my credibility. But anyways... You don't need a copy. You don't need a fake clouds. These are pictures stitched together. It's a composite, but it, it, it has to be. Yes, I heard that. I heard that. It has to be. Graphic designer. Let's see, let's see this one. Let's not even finish that waste of, of time. Let's listen to this one. William Guzman. NASA graphic designer admits all images about space are fake. So the guy in, in charge of NASA is saying, hey guys, we're all just fake. Really? You're that dumb? You think that some guy would say, hey, it's all just fake. No, this is not the WWE. I think so many people are caught up in that WWE, you know, everything's staged and scripted mindset. They can't tell what's real and what's not. And thankfully, when I was a kid, I didn't watch WWE and I laughed at people who did. Uh, while most people were playing touch butt in the park and hitting on girls and being stupid, I was, I was learning. I was educating myself. I consider myself an intelligent person. So, anyways, check it out. Nearly everyone interested in space has seen this picture. It oh, was I didn't released see one. by NASA. 
Should they not release real images of when it is not? Oh, this one. You're saying, how come Neil Armstrong acted weird when he came back? I don't know. Maybe because he's like a really nerdy guy, and a lot of NASA people are, and a lot of people are stupid. Imagine if you were famous, and everybody walking up to you, like that Catch Me Outside girl. Everyone's like, Catch Me Outside. How about that? She's not gonna get the therapy she needs because so many people are egging her on to do the bad behaviors that she learned from her mom. Those who can remove one of truth's protective layers. Oh, he said truth protector layers. That's a conspiracy. Oh my God. So stupid. CGI designer Robert Simmon admits all pictures from space are fake. No, he did not. They're not fake Photoshop. Being completely faked and being composited. Like you guys ever have a landscape view on your phone? You know, you hold it and you take a panoramic shot. Oh yeah, panoramic view, I mean, panoramic view. You don't need a, that's not a fake image, it's still a picture of you. Edited music, auto-tone music, it's still music. It's not like, oh, that's fake Justin Bieber music. That's really them singing. Maybe with a little bit of auto-tune, but it's not completely fake. They do concerts. I mean, NASA's not fake. They went to the moon. We saw this ourselves, guys. I don't think you understand that. We saw this ourselves on camera, on TV. Guys went to the moon. We saw them go into a rocket. They were up in space. There was drama in space. They came back down. This is real life. This isn't some WWE game. You guys need to understand that. Golly. Okay, let's go. Let's check it out. Let's check out more of this. Resolution imaging spectral radiometer aboard. Space. Oh, that's a big word. There must be something evil. And the tricky part here was the weather. So we actually had to take clouds out. They stashed the clouds for later. Went onto the ocean. Yeah, okay, so they recorded pictures of the Earth, and then later they stitched them together because they wanted to get the full surface without all the clouds in the way. That's something smart, that's something intelligent. The fact that these people think there's something wrong with this shows that they need to be put to death. I don't, we don't need stupid people in this world. Where it was low, I colored it dark blue because they're low mostly in mid-oceans. And then where it's a little bit higher, it was like a little bit brighter green. Then add the clouds back in. There's a small problem with it because there's a very small... So this is the original picture. This is the real picture from satellites. But they colored it in themselves. So yeah, maybe it is composited. It's a bunch of animals put, put together because this is what the image would look like. This isn't rocket science. Oh wait, yes it is. <laughs> this isn't rocket surgery. In between each orbit. Oh. Some of the... Not oh. oh my god, look! It looks different! The clouds are different! The ocean's different color! They told you what they did. They told you how they, they composited the foes together, how the clouds were in the way, how they want to have full land and water, they want to have the altitude. They told you this! They're fully clear about this! They're not lying! I've never been to space, but I've looked at these... Okay, now that we know, he says now that we know, he's completely sure all NASA presentations are nothing but CGI and fake. He really thinks that he knows NASA presentations are nothing but fake. He really thinks this. This is really sad stuff, guys. This shows you the people in this world. That's a good picture. That was pretty cool. So that's a real image. That's a true blue marble image. I want to hear that. It's fake, but it, it has to be flying. Yeah, look, the moon's 360 degrees. How can you guys say it's a plate or it's a spotlight? Really? Really? I guess we don't get to have that quote. Let's look for it then. The best flyers video. 100% proof. Oh my god. 100% proof? We gotta check this out, guys. 100% proof. 100% proof! Bang, ba bang, ba bang, ba bang. Shut up and get out of the way. Trying to watch this. Oh, I should turn Ad AdSense off. This is ridiculous. I don't want to give them money. I know it's 12 cents per view, but I don't want to give them any money. ODD, oh my god, that guy's the worst. Flat Earth, exactly. Your reaction to Flat Earth, that's exactly how people should react to how Ice Cube's reacting. You should absolutely look at you like, what the fuck is wrong with you? What's wrong with you? I was exposed to the Flat Earth theory. Though at the time I was intrigued by the idea, I still thought it was... Look how he actually tries to sound like he's intelligent and articulate. This is what psychopaths do. This is what um, Dylan Klebold did, the guy who did Columbine. This is what Timothy McVeigh did. This is what O.J. Simpson did after he murdered Nicole Simpson and Ron Goldman. They, they treat it like a press tour. Treat it like it's a freaking press tour. 
and they just shake hands and talk in their little cool voices and try to sound articulate and it throws people off when someone is telling you NASA all images are fake you, you kind of want to believe it because they sound articulate but they're really dumb they're actually really dumb but they sound like they're smart because people assume smart people are just dorky nerdy and inarticulate kept looking at it anyway with using big words some though things I laughed at, some things made me think yes of course we laughed at because we know it's false from heaven is the earth a globe Okay, so flat Earth is very aligned with crazy beliefs in religion. If you read the legend on the map, here it says, in fact, South America is actually nine times larger than Greenland. Yeah, so the maps are kind of off, but that doesn't mean that the whole world is off. The maps, they explain over here um, in this clip that, I think it was in this movie, actually, in this movie, that uh, the, the globe pictures or the, the maps i mean excuse me i'm trying to think and form my sentence at the same time that these globe pictures and all these people wait wait now souls what's that that caught my eye what the same in 2002 north america is so, maybe because we can't leave the earth oh yeah this isn't real but that's real this is real guys this is real earth see because i saw it on a youtube video this is real earth guys it's real Radiation belt. Right? Van Allen radiation. Oh, he said a big word. That must mean he's he knows what he's talking about. He said Van Allen radiation belts. I don't know what that means. Because you guys don't know, the Earth's magnetic poles put kind of like a force field around the Earth. Called the Van Allen Ra Van Allen radiation belts. We only can fly in Earth orbit. That's the farthest that we can go. In this new system that we're building. Yes, in this system. He's not saying all we can ever go. He's saying in this system, in this kind of contraption we're in, this is all we can go. It's going to allow us to go beyond. We cannot leave the earth. We cannot leave the earth. Well, he's saying we as a human race can't leave the earth. Every single one of flat earth arguments are very, very poorly, very poorly logically thought out. And it makes people feel special, which is why they like to believe it. Because we want to believe that there's some special idea that only... Only you know. You're the only one who knows it. And I think these people are the offspring of Columbine killers. I mean, that's the that's that's the culture that created Flat Earth. Was the Columbine kids not caring about school. I mean, I, I didn't care about school because it was hard. But you learn eventually that this is actually real information that you can use. It's not just indoctrination. You guys are so used to people shoving information in your head. You can't think for yourself. Someone says flat earth and says all this cool stuff about, oh, they're lying to you. You want to believe it. You truly want to believe it. It's not true, guys. Let's make this video go viral. Let's get 50,000 likes.